Hello there, friends. In our sermon passage this week, Jesus says, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. We have a confession of sin as part of our liturgy because we want to have a pattern of discipline. And the the pattern of discipline is to be mindful of our sins and to desire to repent of them and believe in the gospel. And the confession gets at all of these things. So, let us confess together today as I scroll to the confession. There we are. Almighty God, source of all that is, giver of every good gift, you create all people in your image and call us to love one another as you love us. We confess that we have failed to honor you and the great diversity of the human family. We have desired to live in freedom while building walls between ourselves and others. We have longed to be known and accepted for who we are while making judgments of others based on the color of skin or the shape of features or the varieties of human experience. We have tried to love our neighbors individually while yet benefiting from systems that hold those same neighbors in oppression. Forgive us, holy God. Give us eyes to see you as you are revealed in all people. Strengthen us for the work of reconciliation rooted in love. Restore us in your image to be beloved community, united in our diversity. Even as you are one with Christ in the Spirit, holy and undivided Trinity, now and forever. Amen. Let's take some moments to consider our sin this week. Friends, we have recognized our sin, um, and we have kindled a hope within us of repenting from it, of turning from it, and turning to Jesus. And in Jesus is the gospel, the gospel being that the King, Jesus, has won the victory for you on your behalf. You don't have to do it. The King has done it already. Hear now the assurance of pardon. Therefore, since we have confidence to enter the holy places by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. <laughs> 